Okay, today we're answering a question from a viewer, um, the Apple Rock. Uh, I think he's asked me questions in the past. I think he has some pretty good questions. And basically, he wanted to know how to um, download torrent files from uh, your command line from the shell. So that's what we're going to do today. It's actually uh, pretty simple. If you're using a Debian-based system, hopefully you have aptitude installed. If you're running Ubuntu, you can use apt-get, or you can um, use apt-get to install aptitude, which I prefer. And we're going to say aptitude search, and we'll just say bits torrent. And actually, if you didn't know and you're just looking for torrents, you could have done torrents. You would have got a lot more stuff here. But you can see one of the first ones is called BitTorrent. And it's the original BitTorrent client tracker. And uh, it goes off the screen here, but it says for command line. Uh, you can also see there's a BitTorrent GUI, which is a front end for that command line interface. So all you have to do is install that. You can tell by aptitude giving me this I right here on the side that I already have it installed. But if you didn't, just do sudo aptitude install BitTorrent. Or use whatever package manager you prefer. And if you don't have sudo, use root. Okay, so let's uh, clear that out. So now, once it's installed, downloaded and installed, obviously you'll have to type in your password once you do that. Um, we're going to type in BT uh, for BitTorrent, because all the, all the programs that are installed with that package start off with BT. I'm going to hit Tab Tab, and you can see we get a bunch of stuff here, um, and most of them have to do with BitTorrent. We have BT Complete Dir, BT Download uh, Courses, BT Download Headless, and really I haven't played with any of these, but BT download courses. Um, I'm assuming headless is probably similar, just it allows you to do it um, in the background maybe. Anyway, um, so at this point we can run that command, so bt download uh, courses. I'm hitting tab to autocomplete there. And now we just need the name of a BitTorrent file. So let's go online. I'm here at linuxmint.com. We're going to go download click on downloads, I'll click 32-bit uh, DVD here or whatever version for whatever architecture you have um, and I'm going to click, well instead of click on this torrent file I'm going to right click and say copy so I'm copying the link and you can see down at the bottom of Firefox it's saying this is a torrent file, it's not a link to something else if you're unsure you can click on it and if it starts downloading you can click uh, save and then right click that and say you know, get URL. So at this point um, you could just paste it in there, but just to be safe, we're going to use quotations. And we can hit enter. And as you can see, it will start downloading it uh, to your current directory. So make sure in your folder. I'm sure there's probably other options I haven't played with. You can check the man files. At this point, you can hit Q to exit out of that. Let's do, let's try it. I haven't looked at the man files yet. So if you ever have any questions about a program you have installed, most of the time you can type in man and the name of the program, and it will give you, you know, the manual, all the options. So you can look through here, you can probably set proxy servers, um, timeouts looks like, uh, you can set the max you know, um, uh, uh, bandwidth, uh, same for upload rate, um, bunch of options. I mean you can do a whole bunch of stuff. You can get Q to get out of that. So that is how you download from a, bit, uh, a torrent client from the command line. This is great if um, you just want to throw it into the background maybe you can start up screen and then run it in the background that way you can close the terminal window and it keeps on going uh, if for some reason you don't want people to see that you're downloading torrent files on your screen um, also uh, really probably the best reason to do it from the command line is if you have a server somewhere uh, and you can SSH in there you can then start up screen start the client downloading and then exit out and that server will continue downloading it um, I haven't really done it on my Pogo plug, but I have a Pogo plug which is currently running Arch Linux. You can also run Debian and other distributions on it. Um, and I could probably install this and, uh, and start downloading a, a BitTorrent uh, uh, file to my server um, from anywhere in the world. I can SSH in and do that. And um, then when I get home, the server will, you know, it hopefully would have finished downloading the file. Um, uh, I haven't really done that because I use my uh, my pogo plug a lot and I don't want it to be bogged down downloading torrents um, plus I've already downloaded all the Linux ISOs that I need 
Um, but that's how you do it. So just install BitTorrent using your package manager and then BT download courses and the link to the BitTorrent uh, file. Um, and uh, I hope you learned something. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Should be a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.